Hello. In this video, we will learn about two hidden features in Max that will help us uh, with our 2D drawing. Uh, to be clear, it's not going to be as smooth as uh, drawing 2D in AutoCAD, for instance, but it will make our life easier. <clears throat> Uh, they are hidden because they are not part of the uh, uh, default user interface. So uh, we will have to create uh, a toolbar for them and add them to that uh, toolbar. So let's do that. Um, we go to customize, customize user interface. toolbars we create a new toolbar I will call it uh, polar ortho snapping you can call it whatever you like uh, I already have one so okay I will delete it and create it again polar Auto snapping in actions first I will look for the auto it's here I I click and drag it to the toolbar now I will look for the uh, polar snapping I, I'm clicking it and I'm dragging it to the same toolbar. I close, I add it to the toolbar. Okay, first, the polar snapping mode. First, I activate it. I go to shapes, line. Okay. I click the first point as you can see there is a compass that appears and you will notice that the mouse doesn't move smoothly it jumps it's it's jumping with an increment of five degrees relative to the first point uh, the, the five degrees is the default but we can change that I, I will show you how in a second uh, Let's say I want to create a line that is 45 degrees relative to this. Uh, I move my mouse, I keep my eye here, I can just read out, or I can look at these lines, small lines, small yellow lines. Uh, here, we have, this is the zero degrees. Each small line is 50 degrees. So now I'm at zero five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty I will go up until I am at forty five degrees I click and now the compass jumps to the newly created point and my movement now is constrained relative to this point so I will create a line that is 20 degrees relative to this point 5 10 15 20 okay now let's say I want to create a point here that forms an angle of let's say 30 degrees with this point here with the first point so while I'm moving my mouse down, I click Alt. As you can see, a compass appears at the first point. And you can watch the readout. Uh, the, now, the problem is that <clears throat> this point is still affecting my movement. 
so to be sure that my line is vertical while I'm pressing the alt key I will press the shift key now it's straight I will keep my eyes here now I'm at zero degrees I'm, I'm facing this point so I move up a little until I'm at let's say uh, um, okay I made a I made a mistake I will do it again okay here okay uh, sorry for that um, I will click the alt key and the shift key and I'm moving my mouse up now I am at 25 degrees now I am at 30 degrees I click now I release the keyboard buttons and I just click here so this is a 30 degrees line okay so I will delete this let's say uh, I want to change this increment from 5 to a different uh, amount so I right click the snap button this will appear I click the options and I change it from here let's say I wanted I want it to be 10 so I type 10 close the dialog go back to line as you can see now it's jumping with 10 degrees increment okay so I will click here right click to get out from the line button uh, I click again right right click again to turn it off um, let's say I have a line here uh, let's move it up a little bit and uh, I want this line to hit this line so I already created this line with the desired angle and now I want it to reach this line so I go to modify panel I look for the attach button I choose this line now both of them Uh, they are one object now one spline object so I go to spline sub object level I go down I look for extend I click here now if I don't want this part I click trim I choose this part and that's it so now I created a line with a desired angle and I made it in a way that it touches this line here okay now uh, I will delete this line let's talk about the second uh, tool which is the auto snapping I will activate it as you can see automatically the the first tool uh, is turned off they don't work at the same time so now I will choose a line now actually what this tool does it's like when you press the shift key while you're drawing a line it 
keeps your line straight horizontally or vertically but there is one difference okay I will click now while my mouse is moving down if I click the alt key the the this vertex freezes in a way that it is facing the first point so it doesn't move so I can click now and now I close the spline uh, also let's do something else uh, okay the same okay I will click the alt key again now it's freezing if I move my mouse away the the vertex will move a little bit uh, but it's still facing the first point so I can click here and I close the spline so uh, well basically that's it actually you can try it with different shapes it works best with line but for instance I'm gonna delete this I will go back to the polar snapping let's say I want to create a rectangle I can click and drag let's say I want this point here to be at 45 degrees relative to the first point so I can keep my eye here okay and oh now I see what's the problem uh, the increment is uh, is still 10 degrees I didn't change it back so let's say uh, I want this point to be at 50 degrees so now I am at uh, 50 degrees so I release the mouse button I will change it back to 5 so basically that's it you can experiment with different shapes to see if they can help you but basically it's it's better suited for uh, line creation um, and that's it thank you for watching